Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. This time around, we are going to play, by request, Plant. Yes, Mario Luigi, your requests for playing Plant have not fallen onto deaf ears. We are going to play as Plant, whose specialty is being faster and also has the activated ability of snaring enemies. Now, it's been a little while since the last episode in terms of when I actually recorded it, so there have been some updates. Actually, there's been a couple of updates, but here's the current update. The main new features are new throne art, golden weapons that now sparkle. Golden weapons happen randomly during the game. The toxic launcher, game over map test, which I actually like a lot, and you will certainly see it because I will definitely be getting a few game overs in the course of this episode and balancing, fixing, etc. So uh, yeah, nothing left to do but uh, select plant and get to dying. So here we go. All right, so plant is a little bit faster, which is actually a kind of a detriment at first for me. I have to kind of get accustomed to that level of speed. Uh, you can also see plant does have that cool ability to snare enemies. Lots of, lots of scorpions on this first level. Make sure we get that XP. Whew, that speed is killing me. I'm just not quite making the turns at the right, you know, angles that I'm, that I'm accustomed to making them. It's actually a big thing with Binding of Isaac. I hear a lot of players say that uh, they don't like getting speed increases past a certain point. Because once you reach that a certain point, you actually make it more difficult on yourself to control the character and to dodge because you get out of your comfort zone. You know, characters go a certain speed and that's how fast they go. And when they start going faster, well, all of a sudden you start playing worse and worse and worse. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. Now there is apparently a new character, and unlocking the new character involves skipping some of those radiation canisters. I'm not really planning to do that because I hear that that character is a pain in the ass to unlock. So well, not a pain in the ass, it just involves skipping two radiation canisters, but then you have to actually beat the character, and I don't think I'm up for that, especially not with this particular character plant here. So let's pick our mutation. We can go even faster, no way. We can take slower enemy bullets, uh, boiling Veins, a, a classic, of course, or Kills Lower Your Reload Time. Really not a lot here that I want. Uh, I guess we'll slow down the enemy bullets. We're faster, enemy bullets are slower. This seems like a matrixy sort of combination, so let's go for it. All right, so as always, you know, I am an unskilled player at this game, uh, mainly focusing... Oh, that's a lot better. I like that, I like that. Uh, I am mainly focusing here on getting better at fundamentals. I think there might be a special enemy over there, given how much we are seeing sprayed in our general direction. Uh, yep, yeah, there he is. That's a random spawn, I believe. He just randomly occurs and is just a beefed up version of the scorpion. Uh, looks really cool. Also takes a lot more damage to kill, apparently. Just throw some random bullets in here. Just try to, uh... Eesh. Try to do a number here. Yeah, okay, we got the disc gun. Sure, why not? Uh, you know, asking for, uh, asking for trouble. But I'm always asking for trouble. Alright, so, what are we gonna do? Laser brain. Don't have any energy weapons. Last wish. Second stomach. Or lucky shot. Uh, wow, okay. Um, second stomach, actually pretty decent uh, for someone like me who gets hit a lot. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm just going to go for some kills, regenerate ammo. Because as we know, I miss a lot and I need a lot of ammo. Going to immediately switch off the disc gun because I don't want to kill myself. As I have done far too many times in this series, actually. Let's just focus in on clearing out our initial uh, area here and tracking down a replacement for this god-awful disc gun. Let's also focus on not letting all that XP go to waste. Uh, ooh, we have our boss, the bandit, up. And what do we have here? Tell me something better. Eh, it's, it, it's an upgrade. I'll take it. Let's just walk throughout the level here, just kind of clear out, see what else we've got going on. 
And then we'll get to our boss in just a moment. All right, trying to make sure we're not letting any XP. Oh, laser pistol, I like that. Let's swap our regular pistol for that laser pistol. There we go. I think we've got like one maggot somewhere that we can leave. Oh yeah, oh, we have a whole giant a festering maggot there. So there we go. And finish things up. Crossbow coming with us. I like that. I like the crossbow. It's a great weapon. It does have, uh, you know, a bit of a precise aim, but uh, we'll take the crossbow over the laser pistol. We're running a little low on laser ammo, so, you know, that helps as well. Can't hit anything, apparently. Okay, let's try to hit something. There, we got it. Oh, yeah. Hmm, not good, not good. Got to avoid that uh, damage. Ugh. Yeah, well, this is a done run, I think. See if we can struggle back here valiantly, but uh, I don't really see it happening. Just a lot of really bad damage. Close quarters. Wow, I was about to pat myself on the back for using that effectively, and then no. All right, so we've got our map here at the end. You can actually see your progression through the game. Seeing, I'm seeing for the first time how many levels there actually are in the game. So uh, that's a new one on me, but uh, there you go. Game number one down. Let's jump right back in. Do some more games with plants. Here we go. There we go. Let's hit more often than we miss. That is, uh, that's the way I like it. Something going on up here. Let's see what these guys are getting into. Oh, hello, hello. How about you stay right there? Thank you, bud. I do think that the uh, the snare ability is quite good. You also eventually, with thrown butt, can kill enemies using the snare ability. So uh, that's pretty darn awesome as well. The shotgun, love it so much. Didn't quite get our level off uh, our uh, mutation off our first level there. Just not enough. Uh, not enough going on there in order for us to actually level up and get our first mutation. But we will easily achieve that, yes, in the opening seconds of this level. I did play a little bit prior to starting just so I wasn't super rusty, uh, but I, uh, I didn't want to do too much. Played a little bit with uh, Crystal, who is sort of my uncontested favorite in the game. Uh, one of these. Okay, uh, here we go. All right, what do we have here? What are you gonna attempt to me with a machine gun? Sure, I'll take that over a standard pistol. All right, not sure how much we have left in the level here. That looks like that's gonna do it. All right, random ammo gives us bolts. And we actually get to select two mutations here. That was a pretty good level. Boiling, veins, eagle eye, better accuracy. I wish, I wish. Uh, kills lower your reload time, and shells bounce farther. Well, heck, let's start with uh, accuracy. Scare your face is a really nice one. Don't have a melee weapon, so we can rule out longer arms pretty quickly. Damage taken is dealt to the enemies on screen, and enemies touching you take damage. Let's, sure, let's go for it. Go for scare your face. You know, I do enjoy scare your face, especially in areas like the sewers and beyond. Uh, scare your face starts to, to become really, really useful when you have uh, enemies that take multiple shots to kill. Oh, I don't want to leave all that XP, but that was so risky. Dumb, dumb risk right there. Uh, but I did not want to leave that XP. What's that? SMG. No, thank you. Whoa, okay. Uh, whoa. Hang out for a second. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. And whoa, okay. That went really bad really quick. I think I'm just going to hang out here with uh, the bandit. <laughs> More preferable than all of that uh, scorpion hell down there. There we go. Now we are cleared. Uh, let's see, do we need shotgun shells? Yes, we do. So we'll change over to our shotgun. And now let's try to methodically clear out this area. Oh my goodness. We have even more down there. God, my kingdom for a grenade launcher, please. 
Ah, oh, okay. Let's just... Uh, all right. Take a moment. Uh, okay. Whoa, that, that, no, 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 no. All right, all right. All right. Uh, regroup, regroup. Uh, take a deep breath. Okay. All right, he's dead. And he's dead, and he's dead, and they're all dead. Oh, man, okay. So I'm in a really bad spot, but I'm just frankly happy that I survived that at all. So... I'm going to pat myself on the back just for that, and then I'm immediately going to die to a rat. That was almost the rat right there. It's like they can sense it. They can sense how close I am to death. Alright, hit a nice toxic canister down there. Alright. If I can make it out of this level, it doesn't get a whole lot better in the scrapyard, but... Uh, I would at least be optimistic, I guess I could say, if I made it to the scrapyard. I didn't even see what killed me. I'm not even sure. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess upon review I shall learn the reason for my demise, but uh, I'm none the wiser right now. So let's do at least one more game with plant, depending on our performance, maybe two. Uh, it's really funny with this series that I'm not even coming close to equaling the performance that I had in the very first episode. Uh, I hoped to actually learn the game and get better, but instead I seem to have regressed. Uh, I hope that I can get that under control and actually start so much XP going to waste and actually start, uh, you know, doing a little something here, making a little progress. Uh, I do plan to start playing as my main characters pretty soon, or uh, I hope to discover my main characters. Uh, I know for certain that was lucky right there. I know for certain that Crystal is one of them. Crystal is, you know, it's, it's, it's almost cheesy that Crystal is one of them, since she can just crystallize herself and shield you. But um, yeah, Crystal's one of them, because I want to win. Uh, but apart from that, I don't really know. I mean, uh, some, of, some of these characters have... They have little minute details that differentiate them that don't necessarily make me excited one way or the other. There's that grenade launcher I needed in the last game. Uh, last Wish, Impact Wrists, Gamma Guts, and wow, this is just a... Wow, yeah, I guess we're going to go for Impact Wrists. I've definitely had some, some fun with this one in the past, so we're going to go for that. If we can get something like a shotgun... Uh, that really bounces enemies around. Uh, we can have a lot of fun with that. There you see the extra impact. Everything in this game uh, does, you know, bounce around when you kill it, and the body can impact other enemies and do a lot of damage. So uh, an ability like that is is not to be scoffed at, as, as I initially kind of scoffed at it. Uh, ooh, ammo. Okay, all right. And do not get hit. Can we not? Yes, we cannot. All right, we'll take that grenade launcher, uh, probably ill-advised. Uh, especially ill-advised to be fighting maggots with that uh, grenade launcher. But we're going to take that grenade launcher uh, nevertheless. And we're going to try to rain some death onto our friendly scorpions over here. Well, probably the opposite of friendly, actually, if I think about it. There we go. Lots of stuff happening. And we have an assault rifle coming with us. We'll take that. Bloodlust kills regenerate HP. Damage taken is dealt to all enemies on the screen. Boiling veins, stress, higher rate of fire. Okay. No, we didn't. I mean, that sounds good in theory, but I hate taking any ability that assumes I'm going to die, basically. And that's part of the reason that I avoid boiling veins for the first couple of mutations, uh, because I'm optimistic that I'm going to stay above 50% health, at least on the first three levels. Uh, yeah, sure, bloodlust. So we'll swap our pistol for an assault rifle, or excuse me, our revolver for an assault rifle. Uh, what else do we have up here? So we have two assault rifles. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, we'll take one and one. Or we'll take uh, one of the two. I'm assuming I took the better one, you know, just because. Oh, and there's our boss. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw some uh, grenades at him. This little guy right here, thank you. I was going to say, you're about to get in my way and cause me to die, aren't you? And he nearly did, but I managed to survive somehow. Survive my own ineptitude and actually defeat the bandits. I'm starting to adjust, I think, to the speed 
of the character right now. What do we got? The screwdriver? No, thank you. Uh, I know, by the way, there's some kind of special thing with the screwdriver on the sewers, uh, but I'm not sure what it is, so I'm just going to avoid it. I, well, actually, no. You know what? The grenade launcher is going to kill me on the sewers, so I'm just going to take the screwdriver. What the hell? No mutation on that level. Always hate that, but uh, here we go. Let's see if we can avoid dying to rats and uh, maybe get to the scrapyard. Maybe. There you go. Shoot one of those out, even though it didn't touch anybody. Makes me feel better that I'm actually using the ability. Big problems, uh, you might know if you've watched previous episodes, with me and actually utilizing active abilities. Uh, I am no good at it. In fact, I'm really bad at it. All right, need that. And I need some ammo. Uh, I guess I could go with the screwdriver, but that doesn't, uh, doesn't sound like a very fun time for me. All right, how about you stay back? Okay, so it takes two hits to kill a rat with a screwdriver. There we go. Ah, okay, the shovel. Something's still alive. Oh, we have a rat friend right there. Was that the last one? No, it was not. Oh, I think I saw that move. That probably means that's one of those sleepy ninja guys. Something somewhere. There we go. Something somewhere. That's that sort of really high-level content that you come here for. Well, something somewhere, I guess. Here we go. All right. Let's get our mutation going. Rhino skin might be nice. Throne butt. There we go. Finishes enemies under 50 HP. I would really like that rhino skin. God, we are low on health. But I think it sort of behooves me to show off plant by taking the throne butt for uh, plant's ability there, so we will take it. Here we go. All right, well, nothing special, so I can only assume that I must have missed whatever it is uh, that I was supposed to do. Uh-oh. Well, this just went hellish, didn't it? Yes, it did. Fantastic. Well, you know, I think that's about all we need to put you through for this particular episode of Nuclear Throne. I notice you guys aren't really watching Nuclear Throne, and hey, that's okay. I'm enjoying playing it, I'm enjoying making the videos, and I will be giving you some other additional content here on Big Dave is Cheap. The normal sort of content that I normally do. First impressions and uh, work in progress and all those sorts of things that you've come to uh, know and possibly tolerate here on the channel. But uh, for now, I'm enjoying playing Nuclear Throne, so I'm forcing you all to sit through it. I don't want to sound cynical or anything there, but I do completely and totally appreciate your support. And if you're watching and enjoying this series, let me know. Give me a comment. Uh, just give me a little bit of encouragement. Tell me a, a character that you might want me to play as. Uh, I think, though, next episode we're going to try to unlock that new secret character. I'm going to read up a little bit on that, maybe get a little strategy advice, and uh, go for that in the next episode. So stick around, and hopefully we will make it to the nuclear throne one of these days. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.